Okay, so in my last video, we we're talking about how ions are formed and we drew some atomic structures. Okay, well, in this video, I'm going to tell you how these structures are drawn. Okay, hi, I'm Wisdom Richman. Welcome to Wisdom Analysis. This channel is all about making chemistry easy and fun. If you consider subscribing, this is the best on my channel. And don't forget to turn on the post notifications so you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. Okay, so this is an example of an atomic structure. Atoms are made up of the protons, the neutrons, and the electrons. So the protons and the neutrons are inside the nucleus, while the electrons surround the nucleus in atomic shells. So with this knowledge now, you can draw the structures. So now that first shell is called the K shell. The second shell is called the L shell. And then it goes to M O N O P and so on. So to draw an atomic structure, the first thing you should know is the atomic number of the element. The atomic number, let's say an element such as hydrogen, its atomic number is one. The atomic number is same as the number of protons. But when an atom has not combined with another atom, the electrons is also the same with the protons. So the electrons protons and the atomic number are all the same so anytime they give you the atomic number you take that to be the number of the electrons too so if you see the sample at atomic structure we gave earlier you will see that the first shell can hold up to two electrons while the second shell eight so you can see hydrogen are having just one as its atomic number it will only be in the first shell so we, draw, we say K, the electron is 1. So we just put a dot as the nucleus. Then we draw just one shell and put one electron. Let's go to helium. This atomic number is 2. So that 2 is contained in the just the first shell. So we are going to say K, which is 2. We are going to draw just two electrons there. So the next is lithium. This atomic number is 3. So we are going to say K in the K shell, which can hold only 2 electrons. You write 2 electrons from lithium. So just 1 electron remaining. So in the L shell is 1. So we draw the first shell. So first we draw the nucleus. Then we draw the first shell with 2 electrons. Then we draw the second shell with 1 electron. So Let's go to boron. Its atomic number is 4. So we are going to say K is 2. L is also 2. So we draw the first shell, 2 electrons. Second shell, 2 electrons. So that's how we go on and on and on. Okay, so let's just try random elements. Let's say sodium. Yeah, I gave this example in my last video. Sodium has the atomic number 11. So in the K shell, we are going to say 2. So we have 9 more electrons remaining. In the L shell, can contain up to 8. So we say 8. That is, the M shell will have just 1. So first, we draw the nucleus. Then the first shell containing 2 electrons. The second shell containing 8 electrons. And the third shell, which is the M shell, having just one electron so that's how these atomic structures are drawn so the first shell has two electrons the second shell can hold up to eight and that's how it goes on and on okay so with practice you'll be able to draw the atomic structures very well if you understood the video please like for youtube algorithm and please subscribe to my youtube channel it's all about middle chemistry easy and fun See you in my next video where I'll be talking about the ionic bonding. Bye for now.